for you. I got Clinton Yellow Jackets versus Conway Wampus Cats. So Clinton's coming in. This We're starting the season off here. This is spring 2022. Excited to get the season underway. And it looks like they're grouping up here. We got Nature Hipster playing the Tom Catch for in the support role. That would be Mr. Gerald Arnold. We got Lieutenant Fat Cat playing on a Tristana there. Uh, we got Ghost Dragon. And we got a little. They're thinking about starting something off right here off the bat. We got Mr. Dane Campbell playing Jungle Forest today. Said Ghost Dragon is Mr. Caleb Ward. He's going to be playing ADC today, so you're going to see down, him down here in the bot lane. He's getting a little poke in early there. Uh, we have Miss Tori Flannery. She's going to be playing our top lane on the Jace today. So, said we're excited to get this season underway. This should be a really good matchup. It's the first game of the year. Looks like both junglers are going to get a leash. So, yeah, I say hi to Strano over there. He's normally here in the lab with me. He's joining us virtually. He's uh, trying to keep me in line, make sure that I've got everything set up right here. He normally does a lot of this stuff. So. But he's pretty much got everything set, and and I think we're good to go. I didn't have the sound on it first, so good catch by him. I probably would have done the entire cast with no actual microphone. So, <laughs> he's gonna have to listen to me the whole time because he's not here to you know stop me from rambling. So, looks like the bot lane's starting off pretty good. Just a little. Little CS going on here, trying to get that last hit on those minions. Said uh, the Yellow Jackets have completed their Cloud Nine training. Uh, they did that in the fall. A lot of improvements. Nice, nice job there by Ghost Dragon, putting some heat on. And Jace is pushing it on the go in up here too. Looks like the Yellow Jackets are coming out pretty aggressive here, folks. Uh, Lieutenant Fat Cat, I haven't seen him play a Tristana in a while. Uh, that would be uh, not something I've seen from him lately, so it must be something he's working on on the side there. Uh, normally he plays Akshan. Akshan was banned, so uh, he has several champions that he likes playing, so he just grab another one and throw in there and go. Uh, and that would be our mid laner is Mr. Zach Barnes. I think I missed him. Sorry, folks, trying to get my thought processes all wound up here. Said we're looking forward to a, a really good season. This team finished number seven in the state in the fall, so really looking to have a, a, a good productive season and let all these kids uh, get in here and – Show us what they can do. <laughs> Applying some pretty good pressure down here on bottom lane. Got the Tom Kinch down here. They just recently moved Tom Kinch from a top laner actually to support. So that happened a couple of patches ago. So I uh, think he kind of was a support before and they kind of made him into a top laner. Then they reworked him and, and now he's back to support again. So. We'll see how that works out. I uh, got the VA go down here getting some jungle. Both junglers on opposite side of the, of the river here, but looks like VA goes coming up. <laughs> yep, they're going to try to get Jace there and then the top. Let's see what happens if she gets out of this, and she does. Nice job. Nice, nice map awareness there by Miss Tori Flannery getting out of that gank. Let's see what VA go can do if he can apply any pressure coming up. Bottom lane looking good. And they're going to push it on the tower. And the Viego is going to go in. Viego really strong early in 1v1s, especially in the jungle. Uh, and they're going to get Toria at all three collapse there. So Conway is going to get first blood there. 
And let's see. Lieutenant Fat Cat's going to come up here and try to clean this up. Man, they're, they're clearing out. They're getting out of there, so... Fat Cat cleans up the kill there. Nice job by him. Got a lot of communication going on here in the lab. They're kind of trying to get their game plan settled in here. And some nice, nice play going on in the top lane here. Got minion push, so Conway has prio there on that, but... Looks like the Jace is just going to keep on uh, applying the pressure there. Uh, we got our first dragon fight down here. They're just going to go ahead and try to get this dragon early. Nice job by the Yellow Jackets. Nice collapse. Tristana coming in here. There we go. There's some Tristana action for you, Strano. Nice dip there. Nice job. Nice teamwork. Blind Archer going to have to be careful here. The Hecarim's going to catch up to her. Hard to get out of that one. Hecarim is definitely very mobile. So we got the Yellow Jackets with the Drake. Gold counts just dead even. Uh, they are up one kill. So let's see if the Yellow Jackets can answer here. Conway clearing out a little bit of vision there. They're playing on the Caitlyn. Oh. Hang on here. That's supposed to be O. I know it is. That's uh, not bringing up the menu. I did remember that now, but it's not coming up for some reason. I know it's supposed to be O. I'll try to get that corrected, ladies and gentlemen. We see the push here. Bot's definitely applying the pressure. They're playing hyper aggressive down there. We got a gank coming in the bottom lane. The Hecarim's going to try to collapse here in on Tom Kench. And looks like they're going to go ahead and survive that gank. So good job by the Yellow Jackets there. Let's see what they can do. Let's see if they can turn it around and get a kill out of it. Yes, they do. Nice job. And we got Fat Cat coming in. Is he going to be able to? Nope. He just can't quite get the Katarina. It was close. Man, that was close. So here comes a gank bar jungler. Let's see if Diego can get this. Nope. He's going to get Get a good push there, but oh, Blind Archer almost gets that. And bottom lane, they're, they're working that tower over. Nice push. And let's see, jungle, jungle going here. They're clearing some camps. Diego looks like he's going to try to get the Rift Herald there. And Blind Archer's going to have to back off. She doesn't have enough minions up. All right. Katarina back in lane. Let's see what Tristana can do here. And Nightwave and Hecarim, they may go out of here. Katarina's trying to come in. Tristana's coming up trying to help out. Let's see if she can. Ooh, Hecarim's going to go with the ulti, and he's gonna. they're going to clear up both of them there. Nice job by Conway. And let's see. Bot's clearing out a little bit of their vision here. Let's see what this Yellow Jacket crew can do and pull together here. And still applying pressure on the bottom lane, so looking good there. Looks like I got another gank coming in maybe up top. The heck, I'm trying to come around behind Jace, so... And 
There we go. We got it now. I got it, Strano. And Blind Archer is going to be taken down and yet again. And here comes a Rift Herald out. Nice job. Clinton's going to get the first tower here on the bottom. And Fat Cat's going to get pushed back under tower. He's going to get a couple of, couple of hits in there. Ghost Dragon pushing up. Helping out to Viego there. They're going to get, no, they're not going to get the second hit from the Rift Herald, but they are going to shove that tower. And here comes their jungler in, and he's going he's to get forced out. Nice job by Clinton there. This Katarina ultimate going to come in on the Tristana. So they trade a tower for a kill there. And two to seven. Gold counts just almost identical still. Yellow Jackets are going to try to get another dragon here, so I give them two dragons. Looks like they're going to secure that. Nice job by the Yellow Jackets collapsing on that with the bottom pushed up. This should give bottom a little chance to roam. And looks like the Gwen laning up here. Got Hecarim coming in closer. He's just waiting on a gank on the Jace. Jace going to just have to play safe here. Like I said, Bot definitely has advantage, so Yellow Jackets need to try to play around that. And we got Hecarim coming in again. I was going to have another fight right here, another ultimate from Hecarim. Not Wave's going to go down. Oh. Let's see here. I think if she just plays safe out of this, they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, the Katarina's probably going to be a little bit of a problem later on. We'll see what happens, though. And Fat Cat going to get shoved back here again. And bot lane shoving it again, but Hecarim, he's kind of hanging around there. Let's see what he chooses to do out of this. Oh, got to get the support up there. The Hecarim's coming in. Let's see what Coast Dragon can do here. Got his support there, got his jungler there, so that evens that fight up. Nice job by the Yellow Jackets, collapsing in on that. Here comes the Katarina in, though. Looks like we're going to have another team fight, maybe. I'm not sure. They may be just trying to get out of this. Yeah, they're just going to try to reset it. Four on three. Good job. Good job by Clinton. All right. Got uh, Gwen pushing in on top up here. And let's see what happens. All right, Clinton got a recoup here. They still got a good shove on the bottom, though. Let's see what they can do with this. Armor plating or uh, tower plating has just fallen, so that will definitely have an effect on the game. Let's see if they can get the Hecarim out of this. And it looks like he's going to get out. Very mobile champion, but he did have to use his R on that, so... Wow, this Katarina is going to town, and she is going to get shut down. Nice job there by the Yellow Jackets. And they're looking out for this next Drake, so they may be trying to plan on a team fight around that. Jace pushing in here. Tom Kinch coming up. Let's see what they can do out of this. Got both there. Oh, they're, they're coming, though. Here comes the Hecker man. Yep. And their support's coming up also. So they're going to go ahead and mop that up with a 4v2. Oh, 
And that's going to make Katarina 7-1. and one. They're really going to have to watch that. Now they're going to go ahead and take this top tower. They are definitely grouping up, so Yellow Jack is still getting a shove, but Night Wave getting pushed out of his jungle there. Lieutenant Fat Cat, they're just going to try to just try to retreat out of that. Probably end up giving up the Rift Herald out of that. They may be wanting to trade that for another Drake, though. So let's see what they do here. And Ghost Dragon trying to clear some vision. He's getting ready for this dragon down here. And it looks like they will secure the Rift Herald, so that will go to Conway. Let's see what they can do here. Uh, it looks like it's going to be team fights from here on out. It's transitioning into a team fight game very quickly. And they're coming in. They're going to fight over this dragon. Let's see what Conway decides to do with this. Uh, and the Jace going in with the stop. And then we're going to have the ultimate coming out from Hecarim. And it looks like the Yellow Jackets are going to go down. The Cat Arena is going to get a triple kill out of that one. And it looks like they are going to get prowl on that Drake. So Conway coming in, winning that team fight. Nice job by them. And they're going to secure their first Drake out of it. So let's see what Clinton can do. Uh, they're going to have to come up with some sort of plan to deal with this Katarina. That's for sure. A 10 and 1. And let's see here. They're going to go ahead and try to stop up the middle. Um, they're regrouping here. So we should see primarily team fights from this point on. And the Katarina going in again. They're going to have to be real careful here. Yep. And Katarina gets both. Double kill. But then gets shut down by Night Wave. Nice job by Night Wave there. Getting that shut down. See if he can get out of here. Get away from the Lulu. We're starting to push in on top tower, but Jace is there to answer, so may go back and forth a little bit right here. Let's see what they do. Yep, just a little poke back and forth here. Caitlin getting pressured here. And Ghost Dragon's gonna secure the kill on that. Nice job by him. And Blind Archer is going to go down to the Gwen. All right, we'll see here. And the Hecarim's mid with the Katarina. We've got shutdowns on three of Conway's players pending right now. Uh, the Hecarim, the Gwen, and the Katarina. So, we'll see what they choose to do here. And they're going to pull out the Rift Herald right here. Clinton's going to collapse on it. Nice job by them. And the tower is probably, yeah, the tower is going to go down. Tower is going to fall out of that Rift Herald. Clinton trying to group here. Let's see what they can do. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have another another team fight here real soon. They're grouping for it. Both teams are trying to get vision here. Let's see what they can do. Can they – oh, here comes the ultimate out from Hecarim. Can they stop him? No. They sure cannot. And then the Katarina is going to come in there and clean that up. Uh, getting a little out of hand here, 5-23. Yep. I'm not sure there's anything they can do right at this point. Katarina 13 and 2, that's going to be tough to overcome. Let's see here what happens. 
They're on the tower. Conway pushing in. And Clinton trying to answer here. Looks like Conway's going to recall there. They're going to try to reset. Let's see what Clinton decides to do out of this. Katarina's still sticking around. I got to be really be really be uh, aware of her. She's she's thirteen and two now, so. Uh, unless there's two to three um, yellow jackets there, they don't need to try to go in on her. Oh. And yellow jackets trying to get a little vision here. So if you're just now joining us, we'll be streaming on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays starting at four. Uh, weather depending uh for tomorrow we should be streaming live from the arena i'm hoping that's going to happen they're calling for some bad weather to come into the state starting this evening so i'm not quite sure if that's going to happen yet or not i'm going to try everything in my power to make sure that it does happen um our smash team will be playing in there and we're going to be game of the week for play versus so really excited about that hope that that gets to happen and here comes the hecker, man. He's just going to force the issue, try to get the knock back. Nice job by him, just peeling for everybody right there. And Night Wave trying to clear a little jungle there. I don't think they're going to be able to contest this dragon because they're, they're one player down right now. They might be able to steal it. They're probably about the best scenario that they can get out of this. And Conway is going to even up. Uh, by getting that dragon, so let's see what's happening here. I got Hecram coming back in again. Conway going to try to force the issue here, and they're going to they're going to win that. Oh, so close, so close on that team fight. If Conway wasn't so fed at that point, I think that could have ended differently. But whenever you're 15-2, and two, you're going to win uh, most of those fights when it comes to a team fight. Let's see here. Hecarim is – I don't think he's going to be able to do Baron solo. They may be trying to load up for that, though. All right, Night Wave is clearing here. Clinton's coming back out from their base, so let's see what they decide to do out of this. they got to figure up a game plan. They need to get a couple of those bounties. It'll really help turn the tide. That's uh, 600, 600, 500. That's, that's a huge gold advantage that they're behind on. They're about 6K behind on gold right now, so really go a long ways if they could get a shutdown on one of those three champions. Jace just going to try to get out here. Viego coming up. Let's see if he can do anything to help out. We got the support there. And Gwen is going to take down Nightwave, and here comes Hecker. Man, the whole Conway team's collapsing in on Jace. There's really nothing that she can do there. So nice collapse by Conway, recognizing that two were caught out, and now they're going to have a five-on-three advantage. And Heckram's definitely going to want to force the issue on that, recognizes it. Katarina comes in 17-2. and two. Wow, what a game. Clinton's still fighting here, but this is, this is pretty rough right now. Let's see if Ghost Dragon can do anything. Gets back in under the tower, and... Tom Kinch, they're just having to wait on respawns at this point. There's really nothing they can do. They're just going to have to sit under tower, and and they're steadily losing vision now. Conway's pushed in so far. Trying to come back out and make something happen. I said they just don't have vision right now, so they really don't know who's where. 
So they just got to play safe in lane. Yep, here comes the Hecarim. And wow, triple kill, 20 and 2. Katarina is just, just too fed at this point, I think. She could probably win a team fight by herself at this point. And they're going to get tower, and they're going to get this in here. There's nothing that Clinton can do being two people down right now. No way. So let's see. That's going to give Conway a huge advantage with uh, super minions. Clinton's going to have to answer that push. Uh, they're pushing in the bot. They're going to have another tower fall too, so... Let's see if the Yellow Jackets can regroup and get anything going as a team. And Conway looks like they're going to mop up another tower here on the bottom. So they're going to have all the outer towers. Uh, bots pushed in. Let's see. See if Clinton can do anything. And this Katarina is just too fed. There's, there's no way they can do anything against her. And she's going to get a triple kill off that. She is going to get shut down, but she's still going to get the triple kill. So she's 23-3 and three right now. Uh, just getting super fed. See if Nightwave can get the Hecarim here. Probably could have if the Nunu didn't come in there, but just had uh, support come in there and turn the tide. So that Caitlin trying to push in on the mid a little bit here. I said Conway's pretty much had the advantage in this match from the get-go. They've just kind of started and uh, and just kept steamrolling the whole time. I think Clinton in the early laning stage starting off uh, looked really good. Got first tower. Looked like they were really going to be able to put something together there. And and ever since that, uh, it's just kind of been uh, Katarina just taking over the game. And, and Hecram also. Hecram's got 18 assists right now so that that Hecarim and Katarina combination has just been a uh, thorn in the side for the Yellow Jackets here just haven't been quite able to figure out what to do against it we're gonna have another fight over Drake here looks like let's see Katarina's gonna come in at alt and just get just <laughs> annihilate everybody triple kill off the ultimate through the wall Wow, 26 and three. And Conway's gonna secure another Drake here. Seven to 42, not looking good for the L Jackets at this point. Uh, anything is possible though, ladies and gentlemen, and, and League of Legends, uh, it's never over until it's over. But this Katarina being so fat is is definitely going to be a big problem for Clinton to try to deal with. I mean, she basically just comes in and uh, mops everybody up all by herself. So uh, not much that the Yellow Jackets can do against that. Now, once, once you get such a big lead um, in the game, then it, it's really hard to overcome that. And, and that's what you're looking at right here. It's just a classic case of it. Katarina is so fed at this point that the Yellow Jackets can't do much about it, I don't think. So, let's see. Let's see what they can do here. They're not giving up, though. They're still, still fighting, still going at it. Let's see here. Conway's pushing in on the bottom lane. Said. I just think the Katarina is just going to be too much for them to have to deal with. 27 and 4. That's uh, borderline insane at this point to uh, have to fight against. And the reason why is she just comes with so powerful and has so much uh, more of a gold advantage, can buy better items um, once it gets to that point. I mean, even before it gets to that point, really. Uh, there's no way that they can fight a, a 1v1 against her. Like I said, it'd probably take at least three uh, uh, focused fighters just to try to take out the Katarina. So. Yellow Jack is trying to get some vision here. I said support. That's one of the roles uh, in the game, and that's one thing that you do. 
as a support is try to get as much vision for your team as possible. Let's see. We got three of uh, the Conway, three people on the Conway team coming in on the top lane here. We got Hecker and McGuinn. Let's see what they're going to do here. They're just going to keep applying pressure. Uh, and I think at this point, that's that's what it's going to boil down to. They're just going to keep applying pressure. The Yellow Jackets are not going to be able to answer that pressure because they're just pushed in so far into their base. Uh, unless they come in and, and we'll just happen to win a couple of team fights back-to-back, -back. Eh, that's not going to happen with Katarina in there. There's a double kill by her, triple kill. Like I said, she's just so fed at this point. She's 30-5. And this is probably going to be GG right here. I think they'll end up just pushing this in. I don't think there's anything that the Yellow Jackets can do to stop this. They got minions here. They got super minions in the middle. So, looks like Conway's going to go ahead and finish this one off. So, good game by the Wampus Cats coming in and looking good. Coming out real strong. So GG to Conway. We'll get reset here. Uh, they'll do their bands. It's it's uh, they'll play two matches actually. So uh, we'll be right back in just a few minutes. I'm gonna let them go ahead and start their draft, and I'm gonna get in. Uh, that way I can spectate their game. So we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
impure fools. Is that fear I smell? Worst that could happen. Why not? My scissors don't bite. I see you lack judgment.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we got about two minutes left for this match to start up. And we'll get back to some more action between the Clinton Yellow Jackets and the Conway Wampus Cats. First game really didn't go the way the Yellow Jackets wanted. They started off real good, Look, looked really strong in the bottom lane. But uh, Katarina they were playing against just got too fed, and there was really nothing they could do to stop the bleeding on that. So we'll see what kind of game plan they've come up with for this match. So we got about a minute and a half, and we'll get back to some League of Legends action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back live here, coming to you from the Hive. Clinton Yellow Jackets versus Conway, round two. Uh, let's see how this one goes. Conway come out and won the first match, so let's see what happens in this second match. So we've got Miss Tori Flannery. Mr. Dane Campbell, uh, Mr. Caleb Ward, Mr. Gerald Arnold, all starting for you today. Uh, Lieutenant Fat Cat there, that is it's Mr. Zach Barnes. Almost forgot him there for a second. We'll see what they can do. Look like they're just jockeying for position. Looks like both teams kind of content to just stay on their side of the river for for the time being. So I don't see an invade going to happen here. Uh, sometimes uh, if you're just joining us or someone who doesn't really know, uh, teams will try to invade the other team's side of the river uh, to try to get a little bit of advantage. Sometimes they can actually get uh, a kill out of it. And it just gives them a little jump start on the game. So a lot of times you're going to see uh, champions guarding the river just to make sure that doesn't happen. So we're going to have a leash here for both junglers. And what that means is the ADC and support are going to come up and, and help the jungler get that first jungle monster just to kind of speed them up a little bit on their progression through farming. Let's see Fat Cat going... Uh, Going up against the Ari here. Uh, it's someone he knows really well. Very nice. Uh, he plays a lot of Ari also, so nice job securing that first blood right there. You got Ghost Dragon up here in the top lane. Got Nature's Hipster down here. 
the bottom lane playing support again. Let's see what this Nasus versus set. That should be an interesting match there. Got a Vigar and a Leona down here for Conway. Conway getting a little little push here in the in the top lane. Clinton get a little push in the bottom lane, so let's see what they can do. Nice route there by Nature Sipster. Yeah, we got set and Nasus. They're trading some blows back and forth right off the bat, so let's see what Akshan can do here. That mid laner definitely got out of control last game, so let's see what he can do to try to kind of curb that a little bit. Ghost Dragon getting pulled in here by the set. I think this may be a case where set wins this one early on, but as the game progresses, uh, I know Nasus does gain a lot of power later on in the game. Further it goes, and Oxshawn gonna secure a nice job by Fat Cat there. Completely different mid lane right now. Nice job by him. And Ghost Dragon, he's gonna get bullied a little bit here, and then Nunu's gonna come in for the gank. Let's see what they can do against the set. Set's uh, pretty much a staple in the top lane there, and so is Nasus, so. Two pretty typical picks for the top lane. Uh, Blind Archer running jungle here against the Master Yi. Should be a nice matchup to watch there. Yi very, very offensive and Nunu very defensive in nature. So might be nice to see the contrast there. Clinton working pretty good together here so far, starting this match out. Starting off much, much better than the last match. Let's see here. Zyra in a little bit of trouble there, looks like. That Leona with the stuns, nice. Nice CC back by Nature Hipster there. And here's Ghost Dragon. He's going to get pulled in once again, but... Looks like he's just content to CC and our uh, CS and play under that tower for right now. No, NASA scales really well, so like I said he's probably really going to be focused on on getting those last hits. That gives him a lot more power in the late game. Nice shove in here by Clinton. So it looked like they got a totally different game plan this time, looking better. Ghost Dragon just swapping out with the set here. A few hits back and forth. I've seen Ghost Dragon play quite a bit of sets, so he's very aware of his skill set and his abilities and what he does and and cannot do. And So very familiar champion for him. And got Ashton. Looks like Clinton's going to try to secure this first Drake here. I uh, hope they can go ahead and get this. Are they going to be able to? Yes. Nice job securing the Drake. Looks like the Yi's going to come in here in hot pursuit. He's going to try to get on the Zyra. The Ignite's going to get him. The Yi's going to get a double kill out of that. Nice job by Yi. Fat Cat trying to get a, a kill on the Leona and does. Very nice. And going to get shut down by the Ari. A little bit of trading back and forth though. We're 3 3. Ghost Dragon pushing a little bit up here on the top. Let's see what happens here. Said so we stream on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow I'm hoping to have a match. We should be play versus match of the week. Uh, we're going to try to do it from the arena. Um, got some inclement weather coming in, so that might not happen, but I'm really hoping that it does. Got a lot of people here. Actually, some of uh, Smash players are here. 
You can see them on the screen behind me. That they've came in to practice uh, today too. Uh, normally would have a lab full of people, but we did not have school today uh, due to the storms that we had last night it caused quite a bit of damage, and uh, I myself did not have power. Uh, so uh, kind of cleaning up, getting everything cleaned up from the from the storm, and uh, trying to get power restored for people and. Uh, so school was shut down today. Karth is pushing in there. Nice job by Nightwave. Probably needs to get out of there, even though he has prowl with minions. Just let that shove in and oh, Fat Cat is going to try to make a dive. Trying to make a play on the Leona. Oh, he's going to pull out the ultimate there. Not going to get to see that. Oh, so close. And. Are they going to be able to pull that off? Nope. NASA's coming up on the E-Boys. Still got pressure down there. Wow. Nice job by Fat Cat. And he's going to get stunned under tower. And he's going to go down, but he's going to get the Leona too. Really aggressive tower dive there. And sticking with it until he got what he wanted. And... So this top lane has been pretty fun to watch. They've been pretty much dead even this entire time. So, said Ghost Dragon. I know he's really focusing on his CS. Uh, that's the way you kind of power up Nasus. So, gonna have to get Fat Pat Cat back here to mid lane. Uh, this tower's getting shoved in there. I mean, he spent quite a bit of time roaming and bot lane. So. There we go. Let's get this. I forget that every time. I need someone here to jog my memory. Fat cat pushing in. Yee, getting chased down here. Let's see what he can do. And he's going to get the kill on Nunu. Got Lieutenant Fat Cat coming in here. Can he mop that up? Oh, he's going to get stunned. If he didn't get stunned there, he, he definitely would secure that. Nice job by the Leona getting the stun in there. So in this, both these matches, we've seen uh, a lot of team fights from both sides real early. It's not really typical to league, but that's just the way these matches have been playing out. So it's been fun to watch. And, like I said, more, more shoving here with some minions. They should be thinking about Drake here. I think they are. They're trying to clean out some vision here. And Ghost Dragon still applying some pressure. Blind Archer coming in. See if they can get on this Ari. Ari extremely mobile. And Fat Cat going to pull out the ultimate there, but not quite connect. It was close. It's a really nice action here in this match. Said first match by this point was was all Conway. Um, but Clinton's really put together a different game plan here, so let's see what what'll happen here in this top lane with the set. And Oxon, he's calling for the Drake. Yeah, he's he's ready to get down there and make that prio. Looks like bot shoving up, so if Clinton can get together here. Akshan roaming already. He he's pretty much been roaming the entire match, actually. So he got two uh kills in mid lane real early and he's definitely been taking advantage of that. Damn, we got Ghost Dragon. Ghost Dragon's still Still locked in with the setup there. It's been fun to watch. And we got a gank coming in from Master Yi. Is he going to end up getting the Karthus? I believe so. And he could get a double out of that. I think he will. Yep, he does. And the channel. Nice job by him channeling. Akshan's going to come down here and clean that up. Blind Archer down here too. He's channeling again. Nice ultimate there by Blind Archer. 
good job good job coming down there recognizing that and they're gonna want to try to try to get this drake while they got their jungler down here if they can fat cat's gonna get a few more hits on tower nice job cards is coming in they're talking back and forth here that's a nice nice minion shove nice job by clinton get that drake they'll go up two to two to two to nothing on the uh, dragons there so good job by clinton nature hipster down here applying pressure on the tower good job good job nice nice turnaround by clinton here so that that first match was pretty tough to watch uh i am the coach for the clinton yellow jackets here and uh especially since regular season started but e even in off season uh anytime that i i watch them play it's i feel like i'm actually playing the match uh trying to commentate for them this year we have a new stream shout out to mr chuck smith for hooking us up with this flashy looking background and nice graphics um the only downside is you have to listen to me talk now but uh we've got a lot of seniors on the roster uh this will be their last hoorah for them so i'm really hoping they'll have a really good season to send them off to college in uh, a lot of them are going to go to atu so they'll be there in the fall but um just really hoping that this this season turns out really good for them. I said, looking forward to a lot of exciting gameplay, even though it's it's hard for me to watch, uh, just because uh, I'm so invested in it. I mean, I don't even uh, I've sat here commentating this match, and it, it was kind of on pins and needles the whole time. You got the ultimate coming out by set here. NASA's still pushing up. Ghost Dragon still trying to apply pressure. We got the mid clogged up here. It uh, looks like a four on two. Uh, Yellow Jackets are gonna gonna say, you know what? If you're gonna all go mid, we're gonna shove in bots. So nice job, nice job. Uh, that's one thing you want to do in League of Legends is if someone's gonna apply pressure somewhere, if you can't fully answer it or you're at a disadvantage, then you gotta apply pressure somewhere else to make them pay for it. And that's what they're doing right here. So nice job, nice job by Nightwave. He's gonna get the Vigar. Looks like we got Fat Cat and Nunu both coming down on this tower, so Yellow Jacket's really going to shove hard on this bottom. Fat Cat just coming out firing on all four cylinders. I mean, he is he, – he's been everywhere on the map. A nice job uh, uh, grouping up with the Nunu and Willow. Man, they, they've really just been uh, a constant roam this game, so nice job by them. It looks like they might get the second tower out of this. I'm not sure. It depends on minion wave. Not much Leona can do here. Try to defend, but it's, oops, she's going to get herself caught out, I think. Yep, she does. There's just too many there. They've just got numbers advantage. Ultimate's coming out. Uh, Yi is going to actually secure a kill there. Here comes Conway back in trying to answer. They don't, they don't want to let this tower fall. Nice job by Clinton of just, just putting the hammer down in the bottom lane. I'm liking it. Liking what I'm seeing here this time. Did not like the first match. Katarina got so fed and got completely out of control. Um, this match, completely different. Uh, it looks like a totally different team, to tell you the truth. So, liking it. Ready to see when this power spy hits on Nasus. Like I said, he his... I think it's his Q ability. Uh, it, it just kind of keeps getting more and more powerful the more last hits he gets. And so uh, if the game keeps progressing at some point, he basically just gets to where he uh, is very, very powerful. And Blind Archer is going to go down here to the Yi. Nice job by Yi coming up here. I believe Master Yi just got a rework. I think that's right. Uh, I've played some Master Yi. He's fun to play. Like I said, very offensive, though. Doesn't have a whole lot of uh, staying power. He's more of a, a very burst focused. And watch, they probably reworked him, and that's not the case anymore. But, but he was before anyway. So 
He, he's very dangerous because he can just, uh, um, especially if you're half health or so, I mean, he can just come in and mop you up so fast that you don't even know what happened. Oh, I thought not. Wave might make it out there. It was so close. Ye clearing a little bit of vision there, clearing out that ward. Looks like Conway is going to – they want to get a Drake of their own. They're, let's see what – see if Fat Cat can contest this any. Boy, he could get that Leona if he knew she was there. He's he's coming in stealth, so – and the Leona sees him. And what are they – what is he going to do here? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have a fight over that. They did get the Drake, I believe. Yes, you did get the Drake, but they're gonna pay for it. Nice job by Akshan there, securing the double kill. He's eleven and three right now. He's he's on a roll. And their Yi is ten and three, so he is he is definitely the offensive powerhouse to this point in the game for Conway. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, Ghost Dragon coming up, putting a little bit of pressure on. Is he going to be able to get set out of this? I think he can. Yes, he does. Nice job by Ghost Dragon coming in. And. Really shut down Ari so far to this point with the Akshan. Kind of surprised. Really thought after that Katarina play we were going to just see something uh, crazy out of mid lane again, but it hasn't been the case so far. Ghost Dragon goes ahead and gets top tower, so nice job by him. And Yi coming in, already got the ult prepped up, ready to go. Let's see, can, it, can they get, make him pay for it? No, they're not going to at this point. Uh, let's see here. Akshan's coming in. And Yee's on him. Let's see if Fat Cat. Fat Cat's going to finish it off. Wow. And he's just swooping in everywhere. Uh, uh, what do you think, Chuck? Is that kind of Batman-esque right there, just swooping in on that cable? I mean, uh, kind of had a, uh, a Gotham City moment there or something. That's impressive. Fat Cat going up to 15 and 3. He's got a 700 gold bounty on his head, though. So, sure, he's well aware of that. But, man, he is he is going uh, going to town in this match. He's he's fired up. I, I guess that first match, he played Tristana. I've never really seen him play Tristana much uh, before. And he's, he's come out fired up on his auction. No scoundrels allowed. And they're going to get the Rift Herald coming out here. Nice job by Blind Archer dropping that in there. And they're going to go ahead and secure that tower. Nice push by Clinton. And nice job recognizing get out of there. They got the tower. That's what they wanted. They would rather have the inhib too. But they got the tower. So they, they realize they don't have numbers advantage anymore. So they're just going to go ahead and clear out. A nice job. Fat Cat, let's see what happens here. He's going to get ultimate by set, and he's going to get the double kill, but I think he's going to go down. Yeah, he's going to get shut down by the set. So he goes to 17 and 4. Still a nice play. Now we've got, got Ghost Dragon coming in here. Looks like he's breaking out the ultimate. Nasus, like I said, Nasus just keeps scaling and scaling and scaling. The more he's going to clean up a double kill right there. Nice job by Ghost Dragon coming in, recognizing that. I said the more last hits he gets, the stronger he gets. So you're going to start seeing him, I think, pick up in this match right about now. And you're going to take a couple tower hits there. And I don't know what he's thinking here. Yi is going to come in. And, yeah, we're really going to have to watch out for that Yi. Master Yi is going to secure a double kill there. And is it going to get the top lane or two? I think he might. Nope. He's going to get the shutdown on that also. Nice job by Ghost Dragon coming in and getting that shut down. Clinton is is pushing in here. Let's see what they can do. Got the Zyra coming in here. Uh, Clinton still has numbers, so they're good. Uh, shout out to my 
wife dropping me off a Gatorade here. Uh, getting a little thirsty doing this cast. She always takes care of me, so uh, she come in to make sure I make sure I have something so I can keep rambling on. Yeah, go go go, fat cat. I agree, Chuck. Wish you were here with me. Uh, no, you're no, you're uh, here with me in spirit. I said, Chuck, it's come in here. Really helped with the program. Uh, comes in and works with the kids. Uh, excited to have him here. I'll I'll brag on him probably every every single cast if I get a chance. But most people don't just give up their time uh, to come and do something like this. But he he realizes what's at stake here, just like I do. And uh, it's important. And it's a big deal. I always like to say the uh, the most important thing that you can give. Uh, to anyone or anything you're doing is your time because you only have a certain amount of it and you can't buy more. So anyone who's given their time to this program, uh, played in the program, uh, anything, um, that's just a huge, huge asset and, and something I'm always thankful, thankful for. Fat Cat just continuing to dominate. He's just I, – I, Wow. Like I said, we've said this before. Um, it, it looks like a ton of fun to play auction. I've never actually played auction, but I have a very uh, suspicious feeling that it's not as easy as, as some people make it look. So Clinton's going to go ahead and, and just keep applying pressure here. Nice job by them recognizing it. Nice push in. They can probably get in him. I'm not sure here. I think they can. Yep, it looks like they're going to because they're, they're – Fat Cat is just – he's not having it anymore. I, I'm just going to say it. He's just – he has just taken this game over. He just came out of that break and decided, you know what, uh, if I can play auction, uh, I'm going to make him pay for it. And we got Ghost Dragon here just keeping the heat on the Ari. Nice job. Nice job recognizing. It looked like this is going to be GG, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, a complete turnaround by the Clinton Yellow Jackets. Yep, they're going to have Super Minions in here. There's not really much Conway can do. And good game, a good game by the Yellow Jackets. Nice to see. Nice win. Nice job. Uh, Lieutenant Fat Cat just, just went off. I mean, that's all there is to it. Uh, we had nice team play from everybody. Really nice play by Jungle. 19 assists there. That's that's nice. Um, our support, 15 assists. Uh, ADC, 15 assists there. So even though they're not getting that number uh, it, over there in the kill slot, there, that shows that they're in there and they're playing as a team. So very nice job by the Yellow Jackets there. Going to even that up one and one. Uh, that will be the end of our match for today. Thank you for tuning in. If you're tuning in and you're new, like, we'll, we'd like for you to like and subscribe to our channel. Um, let's go. I, yeah, exactly, Chuck. Let's go, baby. I love it. They, they come in and completely turn this one around. Uh, I was really worried. I, I, I mean, no, I was never worried at any point. <laughs> Uh, I won't ramble on. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, weather weather pending, and um, hopefully we'll be coming to you live from the arena instead of the hive, and, and we'll have some really nice smash action for you. We've got two really good smash teams. I'm excited to see them play. This will be their first match of the season also, uh, weather, weather allows it. And uh, uh, we got two really good smash teams, so – they're going to be fun to watch, and they're going to put on a show for you.